Hello folks and welcome to Four Season Backpacking. Please subscribe for the latest outdoor adventure videos. Well, I don't know if you guys know, the reason why my bag is so big, obviously I don't use a car, so I'm here for a week and I want to keep my drone batteries fully charged, get loads of drone footage and video footage and photography, and they have to be charged every day, the, the drone batteries, so I have to lug around highly battery packs, but, um, um, you know, charges, the charges are not small, so we're like, four drone batteries alone um, but I reckon I'm going to do a different strategy like um, rather than using the bus in the lakes I'm going to do what I used to do just walk across just do a walk or across the mountains and stuff with a, a really light backpack for the summer a summer hike the lightest gear possible I reckon I can get it in my quick you know my fast pack really small pack it is it's for running but also for fast walking and I reckon I can fit the drone in there, I won't bring any charges, I'll just bring the drone, wrap the batteries up in um, clothing, um, I'll take my, well, I don't know if I'll take my camera because I've got to get that fixed, so I might only just take the mobile phone to take pictures, that saves some weight, so in a way my camera breaking I see as a positive thing at the moment because then I won't take it on the next hike, I'll just take the cam, the mobile phone which will save some weight and battery power. Um, I'll just take uh, three battery packs, two small ones, one biggish one. Uh, just take pictures when I really, really need to, and video when I really, really need to. And just go as far across the park as I can um, before the batteries run out. Um, you might think, well, I'll just carry on hiking. You can do hike, you have to take pictures. Yeah, but I love taking pictures. It's not just the hiking, I love videoing, and, you know, I like. That, that's another favourite thing of mine, doing the videos, not just the hiking. So that's another reason, and another reason why my ba uh, bag is. <laughs> I've got too much food. That's because I'm used to doing remote hikes. I've done lots of remote hikes in the past, and there's no shops. And I've got to get over the fact that there are actually shops here. But oh, and also this time round, because it was um, minus below zero last time I was here, I've got quite a bit of warm clothing. A warm sleeping bag which I don't need anymore like I didn't need it on this trip because it's actually quite warm I won't need half those clothes I just take a pair of thermals one top that's it for the light backpack in the summer um, a summer sleeping bag ultra light mat you know I don't care about sleeping on hard ground I used to just sleep on the ground I didn't even used to use a mat to be honest I don't even need a mat um, and um, either the British Gore-Tex Vivi or the OX Vivi with the RAB uh, tarp, which actually works out a little bit lighter than the Gore-Tex one, include, uh, I don't know about um, including the stick and stuff, I'll have to check that out, but I think it might be lighter than, total weight might be lighter than the actual British Gore-Tex Vivi on its own. And the reason being why I'll take the tarp as well is because it gives you some sun protection. And in the summer you want some sun protection, not just rain protection, but sun protection. Um, I think I think that's uh, that that well we'll see how it goes. Uh, I'm gonna use the tarp tonight and it's supposed to be quite windy, so see how it stands up to the wind up, up here. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna make my bag so light for the next type one. I'm doing the, my next uh, adventure will be finishing off the Cambran way, which I need a light backpack. So it's going to be ultra light. I've done it ultra light before in the Canberra way, so I'm going to do it again. Now, now it's the warmer months, that'll be easy. Um, Food-wise, might be a problem because there's no shop, so I still might have to take a cooker. This is the problem. 
Yeah, I'll have to think about my cooking options. <laughs> Definitely lighter bag. Lighter bag next adventure. Bear in mind, I have to keep stopping and starting and putting the tripod down. Ooh. It's always worth being a high curve logger. Old camper. This place is really amazing. Never been here before, I don't think. Well, I haven't seen one person on this hike. Just see the trail run and go past. That was really cool. Um, had a bit of a chat. I've, m I've met loads of people this week in the lakes. All really friendly people. I had a really good positive uh, time here, and I've not seen um, I've not seen any rubbish on either roll map, which I've kept. Remember it in another episode, and a sun hat which I found it had dog sh shit on it, um, which I kept. I needed a sun hat. Um, someone just left it on the bench. I'm guessing they left it for someone who might have wanted it, or just being lazy. I don't know, but I had it. Um, not seen any rubbish apart from that. Nothing, which is, it's good. I mean, the, on the, the first, on the bank holiday, there were people camping everywhere, all the, the summits, everything. Um, I've, I've not, obviously I've not been everywhere. I mean, even, you know, the places I've been, I haven't seen any rubbish. I mean, there could well be rubbish about, but yeah, uh, on the bank holiday weekend, there were everywhere, the whole, the, it was, I've never seen so many wild campers in the lakes before, to be honest. I mean, I know it does get really busy in the summer, even years ago, 10 years ago, you used to get quite a lot of wild campers in the summer months that people were camping out. But, I don't know, I think this time was something different. There was, a, there was, it, it was, I've never seen all the hills lit up. Like, um, that's what it was like. Um, I actually quite liked it. I liked seeing the um, head torches at night. There's something about it, man, something special, but, um, yeah. It's good to see people enjoying the outdoors, like, um, and if people don't trash the place, that's great, isn't it? So, I can't see the problem. I think it's brilliant. Um, and there's always places you can get away, peaceful places like this, where there's hardly any people. this bag around for a week I've definitely lost a little bit of weight and gained some muscles where I didn't have them before I think or just regained them from lack of this sort of thing because of the lockdown um, I mean I run every day well every other day and walk every day walk run walk run um, but I don't normally carry a bag this big every day obviously so fucking good workout oh, it's hard work say I am definitely packing lighter though. The next trip to the lakes if it's in summer it's going to be an ultra light camp, no chargers, just battery packs, the drone I think in the camera, just the lightest gear. I think I'll be able to get it in my running pack, uh, my quick quicker pack. Um, yeah I mean I've got clothes in there I've not even used because it's not been as cold as I thought it was going to be in my sleeping bag at the moment it's overkill but you never know I mean it still could it is supposed to be colder tomorrow but I'm going back tomorrow now um, but yeah at least I know I've not got to worry about being cold that's one thing I guess key man and the masters of hikers right I'm going to use a light <laughs> no chance. No way am I going up there on my own. Okay, 
goes really far back, man. Yeah, I'm not going any further than that. I don't know how safe it is. That is mad. I don't know how far that goes back, and I don't know how safe it is. Has anyone been in there? Let me know in the comments. I'm not saying where it is, but yeah, most people probably know where it is. They see it. But yeah, I've not got a hard hat or anything, so I don't know how safe that is, and I'm on my own. And it's another one, guys. Another mine. This one looks like it's filled in. Yeah, it's probably fucking human poo in here. Yeah, I like the guy. Yeah, this one's filled in at the end. But um, it's another one. Some people shat in here as well by the looks of it, unfortunately. So I'm putting my hands on my head, just in case the rock falls. Give me some protection. Oh, there's, loads of, there's loads of bloody rubbish in here. just before I come in here, so I normally stay in here too long. But it looks like someone's actually had a party in here. Just left a big bottle of drink and rubbish. Um, you see how big my bag is? I can't take that, for, I can't carry that up the hill, big bag of rubbish. I might take some of it down on the way back if I come back this way, but yeah, it's a shame. My bag's totally maxed out. I've got to carry my own rubbish, so. If I can, I'll pick some up on the way back. Well, I can get my bag and hopefully get there before it's dark. Sunset is not long now, I don't think. That's it. I've not got to my place yet. I'm camping at a tarn. I'm not going to tell you what tarn it is. But um, yeah, you can mention it in the comments if you want, but I'm not going to name it on my channel. But um, yeah, if you can guess what time it is, let me know. I can't believe this. This is more than perfect. This way I'm coming back to without a doubt. I mean, I can't remember the name of the time anyway. I'm sure most of you know a bit of people have camped up. <laughs> there's a bit of firewood here. Doesn't look like there's been a fire here for a while though. This is this is just perfect man. I reckon I'm gonna I don't know which way the wind's gonna be coming. I think I'm gonna put my tarp this way. Tie the string so I've got a high and then have the back bit there. Hmm, we'll see, we'll see. Yeah, it's supposed to be windy, but it's okay at the moment. Well, it's a bit of a breeze, but I feel perfectly happy with the tarp and bivy here. I am 457 meters up, so it's not, not quite mountain height. Um, and it's, I think the sunset's happened already. Um, I'm not sure what time it is. Let's have a look. Yeah, sunset's about to happen now. So, but you're not going to see it because it's cloudy. 
Anyway, I'm going to get this uh, tarpon tent up. Tarpon bivy. <laughs> Got um, a tarn right next to me as well. There's some kind of wild bird over there. I don't know what it is. No idea. It's just so quiet and peaceful. I can't even hear the wind. No voices, no cars. Do you know what? This is my favourite spot. I've camped in the lakes for a long, long time. It's, I think it's because I've not been here before as well. It's always good to find new things, I think. <laughs> I'm going to sleep well tonight. Right, I've got the uh, tarp up. And the sky has gone really black. I hope there's not going to be any lightning. I don't care if it rains. I know this tarp's alright. And it's not cold. But I really hope there's no lightning. There was none forecast earlier on for this area. But um, you never know, do you? I'm going to see if I can... I might be able to get some signal just down here. So I'm going to check now. That's me all ready for the storm. Hopefully not a thunderstorm. <laughs> I'm not really scared of thunder. I just don't want to be hit by it. I know it's a small chance. But... Um, I'm not on the highest point, not quite up though, but I'm not on the highest point in the area. You just got to be really unlucky, haven't you? Still, yeah, I don't really like being high up when it's lightning. I know, but I just haven't got the energy to go back down the hill at the moment. I really haven't got the energy to do it. So, yeah. Well, this happened last year when I was doing the Cam Cambran Way. Um, I was at the top of a hill when it was big lightning storm, constant lightning. That that was pretty scary, I have to say, and I didn't go down the hill. I just, I just didn't have the energy then, so... I'm going to make myself some pot noodles. I'm going to get in my top. Now, there is signal here from a few of the networks, but I'm only, like, there should be O2 signal here. Like, I did a manual check, but for some reason it's not logging onto it, it's just saying emergency calls only. And free, like a free network. I've got the free network in my router. I take a router because you can place it high up where the signal is dodgy. So if you want to watch a film or something, then you, you still can. I mean, yeah, I mean, what's, you know, you want escape technology, don't you, a lot of people? But when you're on your own, like, you know, it's nice to have a bit of entertainment at night time. So it's a bit, you know, you have got anyone to talk to. So it's really quiet here. And, you know, unless there's some aliens that land. Um, oh, well, that won't be this year, will it? That'll be in 2022 that's happening. So, um, <laughs> or shall I say, pretending to happen. Anyway. Maybe. I am going to get in my tarp. Oh, morning. Morning, guys. Morning folks. Oh, this is inside my tarp anyway. So we got, that's my ultra thin, I don't know if you can see that. That's my ultra thin lightweight mat. This is the mat I found. But this is one I'll be taking with me on all my summer trips. Rub tarp as usual. British Gore-Tex bivy. Fade. Um, Santes 800 synthetic sleeping bag. Um, <laughs> a drink spice. I've got some cranberry juice, beetroot juice. Um, this is for when I get down the mountain. Um, and I just had my coffee. Yeah, I know it's a bit overkill. And you wonder why my bag's heavy with all my photographic equipment as well. But yeah, it was just a walk up. Um, I think I'm better. What am I? 500, I think about 550 meters. 550 meters up. Temperature never dipped below 10 Celsius last night, so. Yeah, it's summer gear from now on. Um, oh, I really don't want to move. It's, it's 5.37 in the morning. 
But everything runs by a bloody clock, doesn't it? I've got to get um, a bus back home. I have to get back home earlier or anything. It's just I'm missing missing my dog. So yeah, I do want to get back to see the dog. I've been away for I think it's eight days. And yeah, it's about the right time to go back. To be honest, now bear in mind. I've not stayed at a campsite. I've not had a shower or anything. <laughs> when I when I walked the length of um, Britain, I probably had no more than ten showers the whole way. <laughs> I hardly stayed at any campsites. One or two hotels, um, hostels or whatever. That was it. Anyway, so this is this is my drone setup. Now you got the three extra batteries plus the battery that's in the drone already. I've got a little holder for the control. Um, it, it's the old Maverick Air. I prefer this because it handles the wind better than the Maverick Mini. Uh, battery time's not as good though. But it's got sensors on, whereas the Maverick Mini hasn't. Um, and the controller is much smaller um, so I prefer this I've kept it I've not updated it I just and it like I said it handles the wind better which is important if you're in places like this um, these are just this is just about let alone the, I've got um, obviously a charger I need to take with me and I am um, the lakes this time I need to charge the back if I'm getting some good drone footage I want to get it good I have to do quite a few takes so yeah, I have to charge this up every day. So I have to go to a library or train station to charge this up. As I said, I've not, I don't um, travel in the car. I don't, I'm not stopping at um, campsites or hotels. Um, I just can't afford that. So sometimes I'll stop at a campsite. I definitely won't be stopping at hotels. Just can't, that's out of my budget. Um, but yeah, that's just, this is one of the pieces of photography equipment I carry along with my uh, camera that's not working at the moment, um, my tripod, which I'm using at the moment, and GoPro and light and so on and so on. And um, But yeah, as I say, I, I carry this much because I enjoy this. This is, this is what I enjoy, not just hiking. I enjoy it doing the videoing and photography as well. So last night, actually the morning, there was only a little bit of rain. It was a little bit breezy and never got any really strong wind i think uh this tarn is really well protected from the strong wind so it's supposed to be over 40 mile per hour gusts last night which yeah i'm in the tarp so i i put it up more of a stealth way where the wind was blowing from because if i put my pole at the back then the wind would have gone straight through but um yeah it, it wasn't so bad and this wall helped a little bit not much to be honest i don't think but it's, the tide is pretty much surrounded, apart from down there, but the wind was coming up from that way. So I think I wasn't getting the worst of it. I'm not at the highest point. As I said, just under, is it 500? No, 500 metres or whatever. Oh no, I'm 550 metres up, I think. Um, there is a, a mountain next to us about 700 metres up. Now, this morning I can walk back to Honiston Pass or I can walk down to Rothway. Um, I think I'm going to walk back the same way I can because the buses, bus connection there is better than the one at um, Honister Pass. There's more buses. And I've been to Honister Pass loads of times. It'd be nice to walk down a different way though, but I've been in that area loads of times, like I've said. So I'm going to start packing away. Um, and get down this hill. Right, that's me all packed away. No trace left. Uh, all rubbish in the bag. And I am ready to go.
Okay, it's rubbish time. Oh, it's a friggin' bus. Oh, I might be in time to catch it. Going back the other way. There we are. Okay, guys. So it's all over now. Just getting, waiting to get the bus.